guys welcome back to my channel so I know it's been a little while since I've filmed a video uh, the past couple I think it's been two weeks since I have filmed have been um, pretty busy for me so I just wanted to sit down and talk to the camera today so today's video is going to be a current favorites um, I have beauty products skincare products and like two random kind of related products so let's just hop into this video I'm going to start with beauty favorites because I feel like that's probably why a lot of you are here. So the first product I want to talk about is the newest release I think I have. Like this is the newest thing that I have. This is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. It looks like this. Um, I picked this up because I heard a lot of people saying this is like amazing coverage. Um, and honestly, I can get away with doing my whole face with one pump, which never happens for me considering I have like acne scars and stuff. So this is amazing and it's 10 bucks. It's the foundation I'm wearing right now. So this foundation claims to be 24 hour wear and like complete full coverage. Um, I agree with the full coverage and so far I have not worn it for 24 hours, but I think I've worn it for like 12 to 15 and it stayed perfect the whole time. I didn't get greasy or anything, which was really nice. And yeah, I definitely recommend you trying this out. Um, with any skin type, I think. Um, I kind of have all the skin types, like dry, oily, all of the stuff I have. So I really like it and yeah. Okay, so next I had this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Um, I started buying this one instead of my Maybelline Fit Me um, because the Maybelline Fit Me, I don't know if they did like a formula change or, or what, but it started oxidizing really bad on my skin. And so I was in need of something. So I picked this up instead of the uh, Maybelline Fit Me and it was $4 instead of the Maybelline Fit Me, which is like seven or above, I wanna say. And it's amazing. It doesn't have a lot in the tube. It has 0.29 ounces. So you have to buy it more often, but I feel like it's so much more like lightweight and it covers my acne scars so much better. Um, it hasn't broken me out, which usually some concealers can do just because it's so like potent with like pigment and stuff. So this one has not broken me out. It's cruelty free, which is really cool as well. And it's cheap. So also I recommend this. I recommend everything in this because it's a favorite. So I should stop saying that. So next we have the Burt's Bees blush in the shade 1205 Bare Peach. It looks like that on the inside. Um, I've just been reaching for this blush every day um, since I got it. I got this for Christmas, so it's been a while. Um, it's just a perfect kind of peachy blush. I don't know really how to explain blushes that well. Um, swatching it's not gonna do it justice because you have to kind of like put it on your face, but if you're looking for a uh, drugstore blush, this is definitely a good one. It's really long lasting, it doesn't claim to be like anything special. It just says natural 100%. So I'm assuming the ingredients are maybe like all natural. Burt's Bees usually is pretty natural. Um, so yeah, that's my next favorite. The next favorite I have is a highlighter. Um, this is a little expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. I've been wearing it, I swear, almost every day since I bought it a couple months ago, honestly. If I'm not trying out like a new one, I'm usually wearing this. This is the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in the shade 01 Shimmering Buff, and it looks like that on the inside. I'll give you guys a swatch of it. Um, I don't know why I've been so attracted to this highlighter. Um, it's not super metallic, it's more of a sheen. It's the highlighter I'm wearing today. Um, I haven't been very in love with like the metallic highlighters anymore. Um, I still wear them obviously because I like to blind people with my highlight. But this month especially I've been liking just like the more glowy and natural look. So if you're looking for a really good high end highlighter, um, pick this up. I think you can get it at Sephora and Nordstrom. So next I have an eyeshadow palette that's also ridiculously expensive but I can't lie I have not stopped playing around with this. This is the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Um, you probably have seen videos on this if you're a YouTube fanatic like I am. Um, it is $130. Hmm. I don't have words for that. Uh, so when you open it up, you get 15 shades. Um, they're all super soft and pigmented and I honestly think it's worth $130. I would pay more, but 
but I'm glad I don't have to. Um, all of their metallics are supposedly made with pearls, which I'm assuming is why it costs so much. Um, I'll swatch like a couple of the best ones. Uh, the only like downfall to this palette is like this little thing. It has like the names of the eyeshadows on it, but it's kind of makes it look cheap. I don't know. Um, one of my favorite shades is this one called Aubade. Aubade? I don't really know, but it's so soft and pigmented. Like it's crazy. It's so pretty. I don't know. I definitely think it's worth the money and I have used it multiple times and I love it. So next I have a mascara. This is the L'Oreal L'Oreal <laughs> Lash Paradise Voluminous Mascara. Um, this came out a while ago. Um, I bought it like, like six months ago and I loved it but I wasn't making YouTube videos. So I'm talking about it now. It's the mascara I'm wearing right now. It makes you look like you're wearing like super thin false lashes and it's cheap-ish for the drugstore. And yeah, it's just a really good mascara. So the last two things I have for my beauty section portion of this video are two lip products. The first one I talked about briefly in my last video. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow. I'm wearing it right now. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect. I would not change a single thing about it. When you look at it in the tube, it kind of looks like it has some glitters. I don't know if it'll like show up in this, but you can kind of tell there's a sheen in it. And at first it turned me off a little bit because I don't like the look of metallic lips that much. But when you apply it, it definitely makes your lips look so plump and huge. Um, the packaging is gorgeous and the doe foot doe fit applicator i think it's called is amazing it's huge it kind of reminds me of like the tarte shape is it the tarte foundation that has a really big one either that or the shape tape um very similar applicator and it's it's not horrible for sephora it's 18 bucks um so if you are looking for a kind of mid-price lip gloss this is an amazing choice i've also had i've had like a high-end taste this past month or a couple months. This is the YSL Rouge Pure Couture Lipstick in the shade 10. Um, it is, it's ridiculously expensive. I think it's like 36 or 38 or something, some ridiculous amount for a lipstick, but it's my perfect nude. I'll give you a quick swatch. It's so perfect, it looks it kind of looks like you're not wearing lipstick, which I know it's like, why would you spend 40 bucks on a lipstick that makes you look like you're not wearing lipstick? I don't know. I have a problem with makeup. If you like collecting makeup and you're a YSL fan, then I definitely recommend you pick up this lipstick. You will not regret it and you'll wear it almost every day. So yes, I recommend this. Next, I'm gonna move on to my skincare favorites. For the past month, um, I've been trying out a new skincare routine and it's been working amazing. I had like a flare up of some really bad cystic acne, which I know it's gross, cysts get over it. Um, <laughs> it's been horrible, it's been painful. I don't wish it on my worst enemy. It's awful, so I decided to get some new products to try to calm it and it's actually helped me so, so much. So I'm gonna share with you my top like four things that I'm using. If you want to see an updated skincare routine, please leave like a comment down below and I'll be happy to film that for you. So I have two moisturizers that have changed my life. Um, I'll start with the one I use in the morning. This is the Youth to the People Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Age Prevention Moisture Cream. Wow. So the packaging is so freaking adorable. I'm obsessed with how it looks. It's very simple. It comes with a little spatula. And then the actual component looks like this. So uh, this moisturizer I use every morning before I put on my makeup. So the key ingredients in this moisturizer are kale, spinach, green tea, vitamins A, C, E, B5, alfalfa, aloe vera, and chamomile. And it's, it smells so good. It's, it's like really light, um, but it smells, I would eat this if I could. Um, it's super lightweight. It, performs beautifully under makeup. It doesn't make me oily later in the day or anything because some moisturizers that are like heavier will do that. 
um yeah i don't think it's really changed my acne but i think it's helped just keep my skin super supple so if you're looking for a really amazing morning time moisturizer this is a great option and it's also made in california so if you don't know i'm from california so i'm biased towards this moisturizer and it's available at Sephora. Um, I'll link all of the products that I mentioned down below with links. That's what I'll link means. But um, so if you're looking to find this, I will link it for you. So next up, I have a serum. This is called the Truth Serum. And it's by Ole, Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen. I don't know how to pronounce this. So don't make fun of me. But this is what it looks like. It's a vitamin C serum. Um, it's collagen boosted with True C complex in it. I don't know what that means. Vitamin C is supposed to help reduce the appearance of scarring and also I don't know how or if it's supposed to but it's really reduced my acne. Um, it's all around amazing. It's expensive. Again, I'm sorry that there's expensive things in here but if you're going to spend money anywhere I would definitely recommend spending it on your skincare because your skin is gonna be with you your whole life um i have noticed a definite fading of all my acne scars which makes it so much more fun to put on my makeup in the morning because i don't have to see all the scars peeking through so the last skincare thing i have is actually a mask this is the peter thomas roth therapeutic sulfur acne treatment mask looks like that so this mask claims to have 10 percent maximum strength sulfur uh clear acne it absorbs oils it's deep pore cleansing. It has soothing aloe, purifying kaolin, kaolin, and bentonite clays. So I've actually I put this on for like uh, a week every night because I was having a massive breakout on my forehead and like right under my chin, um, and it cleared it up so quick. It was ridiculous. So I know it's expensive again. I'm I can't help that I treated myself to this, but. Um, if you're looking for a mask that's really going to clear breakouts, I would definitely recommend this one. And if you don't want to go through it as fast, you don't have to do like a full face. I will like put it especially on spots that are breaking out or use it as a spot treatment on like a single zit or something. So it will last you a long time. And I've had this since Christmas or a little bit before Christmas. And I've only gone through that much of it. I mean, it's a lot, but there's still a lot left in here. So as soon as I run out, I will repurchase it. All right, so the last two items I have are kind of beauty related, but not really. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a dry shampoo. This is the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. Um, you can get it at Ulta. You can get it at Sephora. It's like 30 bucks and it is amazing. I I didn't wash my hair for three nights. It's not disgusting. Is it? I mean, I'm sorry if you think it's disgusting, but it actually is helpful for your hair if you don't wash it that often. Um, but anyways, um, this works so well on really oily hair. So even though this does have a white cast, it works into your scalp really well. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's amazing. I don't know what else to say about the dry shampoo. But if you're looking for a new one, this is a good option. And Batiste is a very similar dry shampoo, but it's much cheaper, so that's also an amazing option. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a perfume. This is the Versace Crystal Noir Perfume. This is the little mini one, which was still like 40 bucks, but this is the perfume I've worn for, I wanna say two or two and a half years. It smells so good. I'm going to pull up the notes for this because I don't know them off the top of my head. Why does no one have the notes for this? Okay, I'm sorry, but sensual cannot be a note. A note is something that smells like. I don't know what the smell of sensual is. So I just looked up the notes for this perfume and it says the top notes are black currant, black fig, and violet. The middle notes are tuberose, frangipani. I don't know and jasmine and then sandalwood vanilla and heliotropine are the like last notes so i'm sorry if i butchered those names i can't help that um but this will last on your skin for days i feel like it even like gets better once you get like on the once you get it on your skin and it heats up with your body it's amazing it's my favorite i will never wear another perfume besides this one I thought it might be fun to do like music favorites too. 
So I'm just going to play you a few of my favorite songs. So the first one I'm going to talk about is For the First Time by Darius Rucker. <sighs> Another song that I've been really obsessed with is Born to Love You by Lanco. Alright, so a non-country favorite has been Psycho by Post Malone and Ty Dolla Sign. Another song is uh, BBO Bad Bitches Only by Migos and 21 Savage. And last but not least, this is kind of like a throwback, but it's Take Care by Drake and Rihanna. Whenever I'm driving, I'm like obsessed with listening to this. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. If you like the like random favorites videos, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Mom, can you hear me? A little bit. Oh. And Wild Foco. Foco. Deep floor. Deep floor. I've noticed a definite, 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 oh, I'm having a rough time, a rough time. That was not reliable, let's say. They popped up an ad for something that was not perfume. <laughs>